You can do your Saab 93 serpentine belt replacement yourself. It's easy peasy and I'm going to show you how to do it without special tools. First, raise the front right corner of the car into the air and support it on an axle stand. Get it as high as you can because you will need to be crawling underneath. And remove the wheel arch liner. I've shown you how to do that in another video, so I'll link to a clip from that in the description below. If you've read up about this job on Wiz, you'll have seen mention made of a special tool that's used for taking the tension off the tensioner on the belt. Space is definitely at a premium down around the uh, tensioner. But the reason I'm under here at the moment is because I'm actually changing the compressor clutch and whilst I've been doing so, I've discovered a new method of being able to release the belt tension. Make sure you've got your new belt. It's a 5PK1030 for the B207s. If you take a look at a picture of the tensioner from the B207 engine, you can see that there's a square recess in there, which is where the special tool fits. It also just so happens that that square is the right size to take a 3 8 drive socket driver. Even with this, I can't get this in there. You could make yourself a tool, get a piece of 3 8 bar and weld it to the end of a long piece of flat, put a handle on it and away you go. But it's quite a lot of effort to go to for once every 60,000 miles, which is the service interval of these uh, belts. So my weapon of choice in this instance is this 18 inch crowbar and it's this end that we need and it's that curve and the flat bit that give us the purchase that we need. Now again if we look at a picture of the tensioner you'll see that along the length of the tensioner it's got a series of ribs. If you get under here but put the flat piece into the rib bring the lower end of your bar towards your wheel and then just bring your jack up to it to hold it in position gently at this stage. Put two flat screwdrivers against the wheels of your jack, the purpose of which is that the end of the flat screwdriver with its little wedge end acts like a wedge and prevents the jack from rolling backwards as you lift on the crowbar. Lift on the crowbar, as you do you'll see the belt go slack at the bottom. Raise the jack a little at a time until from the top you can just get in and release the belt off the alternator pulley. Come back underneath and looking up, unhook the belt off the remaining pulleys and hey presto out it comes. Come back up top and whichever way is the most comfortable for you, get your hands in and hook the new belt over the alternator pulley and make sure that the flat side of the belt goes underneath the tensioner. Again from underneath, make sure that your belt is sat in the pulleys, square and straight and correctly seated. Let your jack down very gently and very slowly so that it'll put tension on the belt. From underneath and from up top, again, just make double sure that the belt is seated properly and follows the proper line and that the flat of the belt goes underneath the tensioner. If you've got value from this video, consider supporting the channel down in the description and I shall see you next time.